I want to talk about my first near-death experience which happened when I was about four years old. I can't remember exactly but I think it was four. I had been inoculated with a smallpox vaccination uh, which over the following few days, I think, started oozing pus and a hole grew there and then I was so infected it turned into a raging fever. Because I was so unwell, I was moved into the infirmary. I was feeling extremely unwell and wanted an end to it. I began drifting in and out of consciousness. Anyway, all of a sudden I was up on the ceiling in a corner and looking down I remember seeing a nun on her knees praying and I thought she had seen me. But I didn't care. Um, I felt free to not feel that discomfort. And I started drifting upwards through the ceiling and the next ceiling and the next ceiling until I was out in the open air above the rooftops, above the trees and along upwards into the sky and drifting towards the stars. So as I was floating on upwards, I felt really joyful because I felt free, no pain, no nothing, but really free. Continuing my way upwards, still feeling an ecstatic kind of joy. I became aware of company. Um, a voice said to me that I sh it was too early for me to be there and that I should return. And anyway, I wouldn't want the nun to feel so sad as if I sad as she would if I didn't return. All right, then we were back in the infirmary, at least I was. I had fallen back into my body at this point. I remember opening my eyes and seeing the nun still on her knees and then drifting back off to sleep. Yeah, when I woke up, I had recovered enough to return to the other children. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I remember every moment I thought about it. And I remembered wishing to see that nun again to confirm that we had experienced something mutually. And I would walk around the playroom thinking and thinking, mouth open, just thinking. Um, soon after, um, after a few days, the nun in question came into the playroom and I expected her to say something ab about our mutual experience. And instead she said, Kathy, are you trying to catch flies? And I immediately knew she knew nothing. It was such a disappointment. But I want to say that there was nothing fearful about that experience, nothing at all, just an experience of total freedom. 
I don't think you can get that kind of freedom in the flesh. I really don't. 